So you can see right now we're at 42 feet. And then this is the dive off into the city. So, hey guys, Brad here. Today, let's take a look at a sewer scope by Fiberscope. This is the Anaconda, and this is a serious, serious sewer scope. This to me is something that is meant for commercial, but you can use it on residential. That's what I'm gonna be showing you today. We're gonna to scope my sewer line with some of the different cameras here and give you a good look at how this thing operates. This is a really impressive tool. It all comes apart, fits into this bag, and these parts here don't fit into the bag. You would need another bag to hold all of your different shrouds, but you've got some really impressive cameras. I'm gonna talk about the keyboard, the screen, how to operate this a little bit. So let's get to it. So let's start off by talking about the monitor and the keyboard. So the keyboard, I love. This is Bluetooth connected. It's all wireless, so you can take it out. On the back here, it has a place for two AAA batteries, as well as a spot for your USB connection, which is on the top of the screen. I'll show you in a second here. So this just slides in, give it a little twist drop that down and we've got our keyboard. So up above, we have a spot for our USB and our keyboard connector. So really cool. Then we've got our two cables, one for the actual camera and one for the counter. Now the counter is right here. This is awesome. This counts exactly how many feet or meters you are going. It's really, really accurate. So this cable is coming down and plugging into the bottom side here. This cable coming off the side is for your actual camera. So that's coming in and then connecting to this line and then going to the camera. So this has a lot of different functions and we'll get into this more once we start shooting video. But essentially you hold the on button on top for three seconds, it turns on. This unit here is chargeable. So it takes about eight hours to charge this unit and you get about five to six hours of runtime. So you don't have to have this plugged in while you're using it. That's pretty sweet. So you don't need to have an extension cord near you or anything like that. Just charge it when you go home or in your vehicle while you're going to work. Really nice feature. On this unit, you can take pictures and you can take video. The pictures are in JPEG form. The video is MP4. The resolution on this is 1280 by 720. So nice clear picture. This is fully adjustable and this pivots. So this all comes apart and fits right into this little bag. So it's nice and protected. I myself, if I was a service tech, I would just leave this all connected because it does take a little bit of time to screw this all together. So if you got a safe place in your van or your truck, I would keep it all connected. Once this is running, we want to hook a camera up to it. So this is the protector right here. You just unscrew this. Now everything on here is stainless steel or aluminum. So it's not going to rust. You don't have to worry about that. And we have two really, really nice cameras. The first one has a camera on the side and on the front, lots of LEDs, six on the side and six on the front. So that's your first camera. And these just thread on here. This is the camera I absolutely love. This rotates and adjusts on the front gimbal here, has lots of LED lights. You can control the brightness. This is a really impressive camera. So this screws on here as well. Now with the cameras, you've got these different mounts. These are to protect the camera as you're shoving them down a pipe. So for myself, being in a residential house, I have to use the four inch. I cannot get into these larger units because they just will not fit down my pipe. So that's why I feel this is more for commercial. It's a pretty pricey unit, but you're getting what you pay for. So many different adapters here. You can get different lines as well, different fiber optic cable spools. This is the smaller of the three. This one is 197 feet long. You can get one that is 394 feet long and that is a push style cable. There is also a downhole cable, which is 360 feet long. I believe that one is blue. So the next level up from this would be yellow. So to thread the camera on, you just grab it and make sure you're not gonna cross thread this thing. Definitely don't wanna do that. But you thread this on just like that. So we've got video, we can take pictures now. Now we've got these adapters. So this is the one I'll be using for my pipe. I'll just grab a piece of pipe. So we've got three inch and we've got four inch pipe. Four inch is typical for residential. So you can see it fits no problem in here. 
the camera would be in the center. You could also use the smaller one if you wanted. That fits in here as well. And that's just keeping you off the bottom of the pipe so that you're not running into water, crud, all that kind of good stuff that you find in a sewer line. But these guys, they will not fit in here. Now I'm sure the company offers other roller devices that you can attach. I'm not really sure. This is all I have right now, but there's lots of different options out there. Now for three inch pipe, none of these actually fit. So you could put your camera straight into three inch pipe and I'm sure they have a bushing that goes around this as well to protect it. But most people are using four inch for their drains. So these are really easy to connect. You just unscrew them. They're all two piece units. Once you get it unscrewed, you have to split it. It just splits right here. So I'll pull the cable out. I'll split this around the cable. This will go over top like that, and then we'll screw it on. Now, before I do that, I have to undo this lock right here. So now the cable can come out. I'm just gonna lock it again. So now we take this split ring, put it around the cable, just like that. Take this unit, slip it over, push this on, it'll click in place. Now we can thread this on and this will help protect our camera. So this is what we're gonna use to scope the pipe. Now you can see this can still rotate. It can rotate this way and it can gimbal the other way. You've got nice bright lights. So I'm gonna turn the lights on. To do that, you press the light button on here. You get one mode, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight modes of brightness. So super bright. I'm not gonna shine it right in the camera because that always wrecks the camera. The other thing you can get with this is a remote control. This allows you to stop, start, play, record, all kinds of things, mainly for controlling the camera, everything you've got up here. I find for myself, I don't need this because I'm right by the unit as I'm threading it through, but maybe if you're in a larger situation and you've got someone actually feeding the pipe and you've got to be able to control it, maybe from scaffolding or something, who knows? But it's nice to have the option to have a remote control. They give you a little Allen key. That's to put this all together. They also give you headphones because this records audio through the camera. So you can actually listen to what's going on. Maybe there's a water leak or something like that. So it's good to have the audio as well. Now the thing about the keyboard is as you're going along, you can type information here. So for pictures, this is really great. You can stop, take a photo, write something just so when you're going back and playing this for your client or for yourself, you've got notes along the way to show exactly what it is. You know, if there's a, a bend or 90 or 45 or 22, all those types of things. Or if you've got a crack, you can write these notes right on the video or the picture, which is a really, really nice way to document everything as you're servicing your pipes. Okay, so we're gonna get ready here to scope this sewer. I wanted to show you how this camera operates. On here, we've got four arrows, so I can actually rotate this camera all the way around. So that's really cool, but I can also change the gimbal. So if you're going along and you wanna see up or down, or if you get turned upside down and you don't know where you are, this is a really easy way to turn yourself back to where you need to be. So really cool function. I've never seen anything like this on. A sewer cam. The ones I've sort of been exposed to are just a camera on the end and, and no actual control. So this is really cool. Right here, it looks like this is separated and it's something's happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run some water and I'm going to see how this water is hitting this line. Make sure that this is not the bottom and it's maybe if it's just the top, then we're going to be okay. But also I'm going to switch out to the smaller plastic ring so that I can actually get over this little hump because something seems a little bit amiss here. So this is perfect reason why having a sewer camera is so important because you can actually see what's going on here and having the ability to rotate is a really big deal. All right guys, so a little further investigation off camera here. I've turned the water on and it's allowed me to get my camera through. This is actually a rubber gasket, like a fern co that's holding the two together and it's just shifted. So it's bent down a little bit, but it's actually not leaking out 
into the uh, yard at all. So that's a good thing. So I can actually get this through because the water is helping me. I can get it through. I will say this, if you're doing this, if you're new to this, always run the water for a little bit to help clean out the pipes, but also you can run the water while you're moving along and uh, it'll help you kind of navigate through. So here is the first corner I'm turning and okay, everything's looking good on this joint and I can rotate around. See, now I'm gonna go underwater here a little bit. And I can inspect the top of the joint as I go through. You can see there's all my ABS cement. We can kind of rotate through it. So the picture quality on this is really, really good. It might not show up as well on the camera here, but for me, I can see perfectly. So I'm gonna rotate a little bit more so I'm not underwater. And rotate that up a bit. There we go. Now we can keep pushing. And we're gonna go right to the city, I think. We're gonna go all the way. Cause this is a brand new line that was put in. So it's nice to check it a year later and see how everything is connected, see if there's any issues. That way it would still be covered under warranty. So we're just pushing along. Everything's flowing great. And as you push down, sometimes with the bends, your camera ends up upside down. So the fact that we can write the camera is really, really nice. So right here I could type in bend, you know, just for fun. I can take a photo and now I can keep going. So this is another turn. And actually I think right here, there is a clean out going into the yard. Yeah, maybe right here. I'm gonna rotate the camera up. Yeah, so you can see right here, this is actually a clean out. And I can't rotate anymore, but this is a clean out that's going up into the yard because we had too many bends to get out to the city. So we had to do another clean out. So you always wanna keep the water on the bottom just to give you a good reference where you're going. So you can see right now we're at 42 feet. Now we are right, this is the property line right here. I know this because the pipe is transitioning from ABS to PVC. The city side uses PVC, we use ABS. So now we're into the city side. So this is gonna to start to slope down a whole bunch. So we're getting into some deep water here. Lots of cable, we've gone about 55 feet. Good to see that nothing is actually in here. The water is a little higher than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. And now the water is really shallow. So there must be a little bit of a hump there. And then this is the dive off into the city. So we can see the sewer drain going right into the city line. I'm not gonna actually go down into the main city line because I do not want to accidentally get caught. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So that's it. There is the main sewer right there. I'm as bright as I can go. So really handy being able to control. I think this is the most important thing out of this entire unit is the fact that you can control the head. I think that's so important. Now I'm gonna bring it all back in. So we went a total of 74.66 feet. That's a real good way to also judge where your property line is or where the sewer line is or whatever you might be trying to figure out. Having this is, is really nice, having a counter on there. So another thing you wanna do when you're coiling this back up is make sure you're wiping your cable as you go. You don't wanna have dirty cable in here. And it might be good, you know, if you're using this a lot, hose it down once in a while because wiping it isn't gonna be perfect. So we're gonna suck this back up now all 75 feet of this or whatever it was. Another thing, always wear gloves. All right, so that is it. I pulled the cable all the way out. I'm gonna stop my recording now. So I press stop. Now that's saved into the file and I can pull this all the way out. One other thing that's really nice about this spool is it's super easy to spool back together. There's no effort, it's nice and heavy. So it's really, really easy to push the line back in to where it needs to go. You don't have to help feed it in. It's just pushing it and that's it. So now if I want to look at my actual video to do that, what I have to do is press the home button and I can go into here. You can look at pictures, system setup, but I want to go into the AVI. So I press okay. And now I can actually see the two files I have. So then I can press okay on that one. This is the larger file. So now I've actually got the recording here and I've got it that I can send off and look at it later or send it to a client if I need. So 
really handy, great picture quality, lots of different functions on here. You can change the tones, the colors, you can change all kinds of settings in the camera functions. It's just a really, really easy unit to use and I quite like it. All right guys, I hope the video was helpful. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notify button. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. I'd love to answer them for you. Or if you've used this before, I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.